Yo, what's good everyone? This is AYO Boxing with Madiba, and we're here to talk about why I believe Oscar Valdez will defeat Emmanuel Navarrete. So Oscar Valdez just fought this past weekend as a co-main to Devin Haney vs. Vasil Lomachenko. This was Oscar Valdez's comeback fight. He has been in the ring since losing to Shakur Stevenson in April of last year. He was supposed to make his comeback fight earlier this year against Emmanuel Navarrete, but he had to pull out due to injury. So Navarrete fought Liam Wilson instead for the 130 WBO belt while Valdez had to wait for his next fight. Some were even saying that Valdez was ducking Navarrete, but Valdez ended up fighting Adam Lopez, a guy he's already fought and TKO'd back in 2019. So this was the rematch and it was a good fight. Many people thought that Valdez was going to KO Lopez, but that didn't happen. Lopez fought well, using his hand speed and footwork to box from the outside, trying to somewhat copy Shakur, and Lopez did have some success doing it, and it was a competitive fight, but it wasn't enough to beat Valdez. Valdez was pressuring Lopez the entire fight, walking him down with his high guard, throwing heavy punches and combinations. I will say that Valdez looked kind of sloppy in this fight, his timing seemed a bit off, and he was winging a lot of punches, but that's probably due to the fact that he's been out the ring and has probably ring rust and also Lopez's style. But Valdez's left hook was still there and he was landing a lot of left hooks on Lopez, especially counter left hooks. And this brings me to the point of the video, which is Oscar Valdez will beat Navarrete. And this is a change of heart. In my post fight review for Navarrete vs. Wilson, I stated that Navarrete would beat Valdez but after rewatching that fight and then looking at Valdez, I honestly believe that Valdez will knock out Navarrete. Styles make fights and Valdez has a style to beat Navarrete. Navarrete is a good fighter. He's very awkward, has power, throws a lot of punches from weird different angles. He's strong, tough, and has that Mexican heart. However, his fight with Wilson exposed a lot of things in his style. Navarrete was a monster at 122 and at featherweight, but his first fight at 130 made him look human. A lot of the things that he was able to get away with at those lower weight classes did not work at 130, which was the reliance on power and the lack of defense. Wilson was able to deal with the awkwardness from Navarrete. He was taking hits, but his defense was tighter than most of Navarrete's prior opponents, and Wilson took the punches well. Most importantly, Wilson found opportunities to counter Navarrete with power punches. In round 4, Wilson caught Navarrete with a left hook that hurt Navarrete real bad and dropped him. Navarrete beat the count, keep in mind that this was a long count, but regardless he survived. Wilson would then hurt Navarrete again in the 6th round with a right hook and it seemed like Navarrete was going to get stopped, but Navarrete survived and managed to win the fight by dropping and then stopping Wilson in the ninth. If Liam Wilson was able to do that, then imagine what Oscar Valdez would do. Valdez is a better and smarter fighter, a more experienced fighter compared to Liam Wilson, and Valdez has more power than Liam Wilson. If Valdez lands the same punches on Navarrete that Wilson did, Navarrete is going to sleep, no doubt. And there's probably a lot of people thinking that Navarrete's pressure style would be too much for Valdez, but that's the type of fight that Valdez wants. He thrives in those toe-to-toe -to -toe wars. With this being a Mexican versus a Mexican, I expect a war and I expect Valdez to excel in that type of fight. The only styles that give Valdez issues are fighters that can box from the outside and know how to use their distance and range. Shakur Stevenson, Robinson Casaciao, and Adam Lopez to a certain extent. Navarrete does none of that. So when Oscar Valdez and Navarrete fight August 12th, I fully expect Valdez to win by knockout. That's a fight I'm definitely tuning into, but if Valdez fights Joe Cordina or Shaki Foster, I can see both of them beating Valdez. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Box with Madiba. Hit like, subscribe, and more content's coming your way.